to a weekly TV show called Team Chicago Challenge. My website is teamchicago.tv. Teamchicago.tv. Hands in the background, motorcycles, hot rod. This is Motoblot in Chicago, a street fair for hot rods, motorcycles. Everybody's having a great time. The weather is almost perfect. The first, second day of summer. What a way to kick off summer in Chicago. Don't forget my website, teamchicago.tv. My email, tdan45 at gmail.com. Send me an email and tell me what you think of uh, Team Chicago on YouTube. One of the feature bikes at Motoblot is Hog Slayer. This is a triple engine Norton. The one that set all the world championships was a twin engine Norton. This bike is ridden by TC Christensen from Kenosha. Norton had the fastest bike in the world back in the 1970s. As we see this beautiful yellow Norton Commando, a good number of great motorcycles at Motoblot, a brand new twin cylinder Royal Enfield. 2019. Motoblot is the evolution of mods and rockers. The mods were the guys with the scooters, the rockers were the guys with the British motorcycles. As we see this BMW opposed twin and this beautiful Triumph Truxton Cafe Racer. Motoblot is for hot rods and motorcycles in Chicago. Ducati brought out their line of scramblers for folks to ride at Motoblot, so I took the opportunity to ride one of the Ducati scramblers. I believe that first bike we're looking at is the new 1100 L-Twin. Now we're looking at the Cafe Racer. The Cafe Racer has clip-on handlebars, and it is designed for the street. This yellow one has standard handlebars and it has an 803 cc engine producing 73 horsepower. I am gonna ride this bike. It is called the Desert Sled. As you can see, it has longer suspension. This is the bike I would like to take across country. Let's listen to our instructors, Mark and Kim. It's all right turns for safety. A okay. couple of key things. She's going to be the lead rider. Will generally ride staggered. Okay. There's several underpasses yeah, where there's some yeah. pretty rough pavement, and so there, single file. You'll probably notice you put out a foot to indicate the pavement defects, and we'll go to single file. Okay. And so basically, all you got to do is focus on her high vis back. Don't worry about the stuff. She will guide you through the best pavement available. Okay. On stoplights and stop signs, we'll want to go paired up because we can get through the stop sign or stoplight more efficiently, especially stop signs. Okay. And passing her means we stop everything and come straight back, so you'll offend the other person. So don't do that. Okay. Um, if we do get caught by a light, because the yellow's down here, or a light is yellow right? Um, I'll be in the back, and we'll just get. Especially on that sport. Filter forward. Huh? Filter forward. And yeah, we'll filter up and catch up with them, and if, if it's a ways, they'll pull to the side in some place to the sink. Okay. So we keep the group together so that we're easy to follow. One version has a single speed. Anything I'm missing? Uh, uh, emergency yeah. vehicles. We will obviously, if there's oh, an emergency yeah. vehicle, we will go to the side lights, and whatever. stop. Either side of the road, we'll filter over to the side, get out of their way, because we've got to at least one situation with a cop on the other side of the island. This year, the 2019 lineup, you know, we did. And now it's time to ride these great Ducati scramblers. I'm on that desert sled as we head down this cobblestone alley behind Motoblot. This is as close as I'm gonna come to being off-road. This is a great feeling motorcycle, plenty of suspension. The suspension feels right for my weight. After we travel a couple blocks, we are now turning on Ogden Avenue. Ogden Avenue runs southwest out of Chicago. Originally, Ogden Avenue started at the front door of Lincoln Park Zoo, but they have captured some of that land that the road took and built very expensive homes 
near downtown Chicago. William Ogden was one of the founders of Chicago. In fact, he was the first mayor of Chicago in 1837. Prior to that, he was an investor in the Illinois-Michigan Canal. In the 1830s, he was involved with building the, the Galena and Chicago Union Railroad. He was also one of the founders of the Board of Trade. As president of the Union Pacific Railroad, he was part of extending the rail service from Chicago to the Pacific Ocean and the West Coast. As we go by this additional park that has a music festival, I have to watch my speed because in Chicago, they do have camera speed traps. Yes, Chicago is not a friendly town to traffic. In fact, the way the lights are set up in Chicago, it's like they hate traffic. Not very friendly. As we turn on to Damon Avenue and head north, this Ducati It has 73 horsepower. It is an 803 L twin. It feels great. The suspension feels nearly perfect for my weight. I could really feel like I could ride this bike across country. I would like to take a bike like this off road. As we catch the light here at Madison, Street, I take a look at the Chicago Stadium, the house that Michael Jordan built. Let's see, Michael Jordan used to sit at home in Highland Park and watch Team Chicago Challenge on TV. He then went out and bought a couple sport bikes, Suzuki sport bikes, and he took a couple track days. I firmly believe one of the reasons Michael Jordan got involved with motorcycle road racing was from watching Team Chicago when he was sitting at home in Highland Park. Yes, my TV show is on in Highland Park. Now, I haven't had the chance to confirm this story with Michael Jordan, but the next time I run into him, I will ask him about why he got into motorcycle road racing, sponsoring Team Jordan. And now we're turning back on Lake Street to head back to Moto Plot. We're underneath one of the L's. The elevated tracks, the electric trains in Chicago were all built by private industry back in the late 1800s and the early 1900s. This is back when public, before public transportation existed, and the company served the public to get customers. It's funny how things have changed. Well, we are now at Ashland and Lake Street. So if you wanna to come to Motoblot in 2020, remember, it is approximately exactly two miles west of downtown Chicago, two miles west of Trump Tower. Ashland Avenue is 1600 west Lake Street is 300 north. Bolton Street is just a half a block north of Lake Street. So you just have to go west of downtown Chicago to go to Motoblot. And now we're gonna to talk to our instructors, Mark and Kim. Hi, my name is Mark Wilson, and I work with Total Control in Illinois. We do the training at MCC Motorcycles in Villa Park. And it allows an experienced rider to really bring their game up and dramatically reduces fatalities. We've proven it with the military, we've proven it with entire states like California, and it's really my mission in this area to get people aware of it, able to attend, and really ride longer, more successfully, and more skillfully. All right, so tell me about it. where's MCC? MCC is uh, Villa Park. Um, so it's motorcycle, con uh, motorcycle, Center. Motorcycle Center. <laughs> right, right. Motorcycle Center. Right. Yeah, and uh, we uh, typically run our classes there. 
Did you go uh, down again? Or? No. Uh, easy to get to. What is that, St. Charles Road? Yeah, it's right at the intersection of all the big expressways, just a little bit south of where O'Hare is. Right, right. Okay. Your name? I forgot to get it. Yeah, Kim Muir. Okay, and uh, tell me what you learned at my school at Groton Raceway. Oh, that was a fantastic time. I actually learned about uh, flagging. Definitely the proper uh, cornering skills for that track, which is a very technical track, mind you. Um, and a few other things about racing, just, just to make it safer for me and to, and to get my license. So you raced with Arma then? I do. Right, I've raced right. with Arma since 2011. So, so what kind of bike? Uh, currently have a CV, uh, SV650, Sound of Thunder 3, um, and a Motard, and a 82 CB750F Supersport. You ever done any racing or? Yeah, no, Just a few track days. Right, 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 right. Keep the skills up. Yep. Here, get the website. <laughs> Totalcontroltraining.net. And it's leeparksdesign.com, I think. No, right? uh, yes, it's .com. Right. Right. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I had a great time riding the new Ducatis thanks to Kim and Mark. For more information on Motoblot, Bolton Street and Ashland Avenue, join us in 2020. It's motoblot.com, motoblot.com. To contact me, it's teamdan45 at gmail.com. Let me know what you think of this clip. And remember, you can always search on YouTube with Dan Schmidt Motorcycle Racing for great motorcycle racing action.